God expects us, God wants us to know, amen, that He paid the price for you and I, amen. He gave His Son, and His Son bled upon the cross for you and I, amen. It says in verse 12, it says, Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by His own blood, He entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. For it is the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of a heifer sprinkling the unclean sanctified to the purifying of the flesh. Then verse 14 says, And how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without thought to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? You know, Jesus made a way for you and I, amen, that we could do His will, amen, and live the life that He's called us to live, amen. We've been ministering for the past few weeks about walking the walk and talking the talk, amen. Not just talking the talk and not walking the walk, amen. But doing both, amen, doing the will of God, doing what God wants you to do, when He wants you to do it, amen. It's very important that we realize that we serve an old time God, Brother John, amen. And when God speaks, amen, we're to listen and to obey Him then, not when we get ready to, but when God says to, amen. We need to learn to move when God says to move, amen. If Jesus hadn't have done what God wanted him to do, amen, none of us would probably be here today, amen. But because he did his part, amen, and I'm telling you, amen, he did his part, yes, amen. He did. They didn't put him on the cross, amen, he gave his life, amen. And they didn't crucify him because they wanted to, they crucified him because he let them crucify him. Yeah. Amen. I want you to know you got to let the will of God work in your life. Amen. you got to sell out to Jesus. Amen. And let God be number one. Make him number one in your life. Amen. Realize, amen, that your sins have been covered with the blood of Jesus and you're no longer to be the same. Amen. But you're to be different. Amen. Yeah. Than that which the world is and that which you used to be. Amen. Senator ministered this morning about looking back. We can't serve God and be looking back. Amen. We've got to put one foot in front of the other and we got to go forward. Amen. We can't be looking back. Amen. The only time that I enjoy looking back is to look back at the things that God has done in my life since I've met Him. Amen. And even beforehand, Sister Penny, I can look back in my life, even when I was lost and undone without Jesus, and I can see the hand of God in my life, amen, that He was watching over me and keeping me from a devil's hell, amen. And I'm telling you, He's done every one of us that way throughout our life, amen. You may not have walked down the same road I walked down, amen, done the same things I've done, but I can tell you now, amen, that as we get to the age of accountability, we have choices to make, amen. And we either accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior and live the life that He's called us to live, or we live the life that we choose to live, amen. amen. That's right. I'm telling you today, amen, if we don't choose Jesus, we're in trouble, amen. amen. Now I'm telling you, Jesus chose to do the will of God in His life. What about you today? Are you choosing to live the life that God has called for you to live today, amen. Do you realize, amen, that His blood will cleanse you and purify you, amen. And it'll 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 change your life, amen. It'll change the way you think, amen. The way that you act, the things that you do, amen. It'll change, amen, because God don't live a sinful life, amen. And He'll not live in a ta in a tabernacle or a temple. Amen. That's unholy. Amen. So you need to realize, amen, that if there's anything that's in your life that's not right today, you need to get it under the blood. Amen. Yes. You need to give it to Jesus. Amen. Hebrews 9 and 14 says, How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit, offer himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works, to serve the living God? Glory to God. I can tell yes. you today, amen, God will do all that it takes to cleanse you, amen. But you've got to obey Him. You've got to live the, 
the, the life that God has called you to live. You've got to walk the walk and talk the talk. Amen. You can't just talk the talk and not walk the walk. Amen. 1 Peter 1 and 18 says, For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things and silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. But, verse 19 says, But with the precious blood of Christ, Yes. As of a lamb without blemish and without spot. I'm telling you today, amen, God knew what he was doing when he sent Jesus for you and I, amen. He did it so that we could have a resurrected lifestyle, amen, that we could be redeemed from our sins, amen. We all know that Easter's right around the corner, amen. It's next weekend, looking forward to next weekend, amen, but it's not got here yet, amen. We're not promised to tomorrow, so right. we need to be about the Father's business today. Yes, Put we God's do. will, doing what God's called us to do, walking uh, in, in redemption, knowing that God has shed His blood for you and I, Amen. And that we're without spot or blemish, amen. That we're called to walk the walk and to talk the talk. Amen. Yes, we are. I'm telling you today, amen. God wants us to line up with his, our life to line up with His Word, amen. Sandra said today, amen. That you know, I, I can tell you now, amen. That so many times we count on what we can do, but we've got to count on what God does in our life. Amen. And I can tell you there's things like she said that we went through. I, I have the foggiest idea she is, what she was talking about that I had done that made her so mad. But whatever it was, I thank God he took care of it, Brother George. Amen. But I can tell you today, amen, I'm still alive. Praise the Lord. Amen. amen. Glory to God. I'm still amongst the living. So we serve an awesome God. Amen. amen. God will answer our prayers, Sister Levon. Amen. And we'll just pray to God and put our trust and faith in Him. Amen. I don't care what you're going through. What kind of trouble's facing you right now or what kind of decisions you might have to make. Put your trust and faith in God's Word and in the Spirit of God in your life and God will lead God and direct you. He'll take you through the fire. Amen. He'll not let you be there and, and handle it all by yourself. He's there to take care of us. Amen. amen. And He wants to take care and deliver us. Amen. And to set us free. Amen. I can tell you, amen, as David did in 1 Samuel 17 and 35, 37, it says, David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. Amen. Yes. I want to tell you today to go, and the Lord will be with you. Amen. Just put your trust and faith in God, amen, and don't lean unto your own understanding, amen, and I can tell you God will take care of the things that you and I can, amen. He promised to take care of us, amen, yes, he and he'll not let us down, just like he sent his son to redeem us from our sins, amen. I'm telling you, I thank God for Jesus Christ today, amen. Because if it weren't for Jesus, I wouldn't be here. Sandra said if it wasn't for Jesus, she wouldn't be here. You know, it's all because of God that we're here doing the will of God. It's all because of Him, amen, and the things that He's brought us from and to, amen, the things that He wants to do in our lives, amen, that if we'll just get out of the way and let God be God. Yes. God will take care of us, I'm telling you today, amen. He wants to take care of us, amen. Do you want God to take care of you, amen? Listen to this, amen. This is found in Isaiah. Uh, Bless him, Isaiah 1 and 18, it says, Come now and let us reason together. Don't say apart, it says together. Says the Lord, Go your sin be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Amen. I can tell you, amen, if we'll just trust God, God can clean us up. Amen. He'll take care of us. Amen. He'll take us through the fire. Amen. It says in the book of Malachi 3 and 3, it says, And he shall sit 
as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. You know, we can't do nothing within ourselves. Nothing yes. but mess up. Amen? You say, well, I'm pretty good at this. Well, it's because God made you that way. Amen? You need to realize it's all because of God that you can do that that well. Amen? Amen. Yep. I'm telling you, the Bible says for we can do nothing without Him. Amen? We need to give God the credit for the things that we can do in our life. And we need to put our trust and faith in God to take us through these things in our life that we can't overcome. Amen? Yep, we do. I'm telling you today, amen, that we've been made more than an overcomer through the power and the blood of Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, we have. If it weren't for Jesus' blood, where would we be? I'd wow. be in a devil's hell. Mm -hmm. I'd be six foot under. Yep. And in a devil's hell right now. If it weren't for the blood of Jesus Christ. And I believe a lot of you would too. Amen. Now there's some in here that's never lived a life that I've lived and I wouldn't say that about you. Amen. But I can tell you, amen, if you lived anywhere close to what I lived, you'd be in a devil's hell. And you'd be six foot under in the devil's hell right now if it weren't for the blood of Jesus Christ. That's right, be brother. Amen. amen. We need Jesus in our life. You've got to count on Jesus to walk with you and to talk with you. You've got to trust in Him, amen, to lead God and direct you, amen. I'm telling you, it don't just happen because you're a good person, amen. It happens because you've surrendered your life to Jesus and you've accepted His life as your Lord and Savior, amen. And because of the blood, you've been redeemed, amen from your sins. Amen. I'm telling you, God knew what He was doing. Amen. And we go back right there to where we was at in, in uh, Hebrews. Amen. Real quickly. Amen. Look back here at verse 12. It says, Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by His own blood He entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. For if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of a heifer's sprinkling the unclean sanctified to the purifying of the flesh. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works Amen. to serve the living God. Glory you know God. what? We've got to be found doing the will of God in our lives. Yes, we Amen. do. Yes. We can't sit on a seat and do nothing and, and, and ride the wave, so to speak, just because... Uh, you come in a, a church service and you can feel the Spirit of God, you think you're all right. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, amen, just because you feel the presence of God don't mean that you're all right. Amen. You've got to have a no-so salvation, amen. You've got to have a relationship with Him, amen. You've got to have that one-on-one -on -one communication with the Father. Amen. And I can tell you, amen, if you've got that connection with Christ in your life, amen, then you're okay. Amen. As long as you stay under that umbrella of grace. Amen. None of us are promised to make it without Jesus. I said none of us are promised to make it without Jesus. Matter of fact, I'll just go ahead and tell you, you can't make it at all without Jesus. But with Jesus Christ, we can make heaven our home. Amen. We can live a life beyond the life of this world. Amen. We can live as a Christian, Brother Johnny. We can be different makers. Amen. Sister LaVon, we can be obedient. Amen. Where no one else would be obedient. Why? Because we put our trust and faith in God. Amen. In the spirit that lives within us, he will only lead us in paths of righteousness and holiness. The Bible says that, amen. It says, straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leads us yep. to life. And few there be shall find it. You know why? Because there's not many going to follow God like He wants them to. That's right. Why is that? Because a lot of times there's too much of us and not enough of Him. Mm-hmm. I pray all the time, God, I need more of you so there'll be less of me. Glory to God. 
God, I need more you, so there'll be less of me, God. God, help me to overcome my flesh and to follow after your spirit and do what you want me to do, God. See, I can't do what God's called you to do, and you can't do what God's called me to do. But we can encourage one another to do the will of God. Amen? Yep, we yep. can and we should encourage each other to follow God and do what God would have us to do. Amen? Amen. And trust the Lord as God would have us to trust Him. Amen? I'm telling you, amen, if we do these things that which God wants us to do, amen, we we'll follow after His Spirit, amen, we can overcome that flesh, amen, that flesh that so easily besets us, amen. Yeah. I can tell you today, amen, we need to serve God with all our heart, mind, soul, and body. Psalms 2 and 11 says, Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know what scares me the most in life is that if I'm not pleasing God. Yep. That's what scares me the most, Brother John. It's not the fear of whether or not I'm going to have money to pay the next bill. But it's the fear that I'm not in right standings with Him. Mm -hmm. That keeps me on the fire line. Amen. That keeps me striving to do what God would have me to do. There's times I get weak and weary in my well doings. Amen. I know there's times that you get weak and weary too. Mm -hmm. But you know what? we still got to put our trust and faith in God. Not in our abilities, not in our talents, but in the mind of Jesus Christ, in His Word. Yes. Amen. That's what He sent His Word, a book of promises. Amen. He sent His Word that we could stand upon it in times of trouble. Amen. That we know, that we know, that we know that He'll not let us down because... His word says He'll never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's a good God and He loves you today. Amen. Hebrews 12 and 28 says, Wherefore we receive a kingdom which cannot be moved. Let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. You know what? I believe the church needs to get back to a place where they... Have that godly fear. Amen. Amen. A place to where what they want to do is please God more than they do their self. Amen. You know, we was been talking about uh, raising funds and we've been working on it uh, for a few years, raising funds for a building fund. And, and you know, that's great and that's wonderful and it's a good thing. Amen. But God just wants us to stay in this building as long as we're here. As long as that's what God wants, I'm fine with that. Amen. If God wants us to take on that building down there on North Lincoln or whatever it's called down there, then that's fine with me. Don't matter to me as long as we're in the will of God. I'm telling you, that's what should be important in your life. Amen. If you're doing what God wants you to do, if you're walking the walk and talking the talk, and each and every one of us, nobody has to tell you whether or not you're walking the walk and talking the talk. You know if you are or if you're not. God is a big God. Amen. And He's able to Speak to us clearly. Amen. Are you listening today? Have you been paying attention? Amen. Have you been walking under that blood? Amen. Trying to do His will and doing the very best that you possibly can? Are you seeking after God? See, only you can answer these things. I can't answer them for you. You can't answer them for me. The Bible says that we're not to judge one another. Amen. A lot of times, you see, I guess you'd call it a judgmental spirit that runs rapid in the churches today. And well, if somebody don't do something the way that it used to be done or the way that 
they think it ought to be done and it wasn't God at all. Amen. I'm telling you, we can't be like that. We've got to walk in unity and love. We've got to come together and be the church that God has called new life heart to heart to be. Amen. Amen. That's why you're here. Amen. You're here to be a difference maker. Amen. We're not to act like the world and talk like the world. But we're to act like Jesus and talk like Jesus. Amen. We're to love one another as Jesus loves us. Amen. We're to show that love to those that come in that's lost and undone. Those that are, are excuse, me, excuse me for a minute, but not smelling clean or looking clean or not even talking clean. We're to love them anyway. And we're to let them know that they have hope this side of eternity. And through Jesus' blood they can be redeemed too. Amen. Jesus redeemed us from our sins by His precious blood. Do you know in your heart that everything is alright in your life? Do you know that if you were to leave today that you were to take your last, last breath you'd wake up in a place called heaven. My question to you today, amen, if you don't have that assurance, amen, that your life's not lined up under the blood like it should be, would you come to this altar and get it right today? Would you step out of your sin and be washed by the blood? Be redeemed? And become that child of God that God wants you to be. Willing to walk the walk and talk the talk. If that's you today, amen. There's plenty here to pray with you, amen. Sanders said none of us are perfect. Not none of us. And she's right. Neither you nor me. But is your, is your life under the blood of Jesus? Are you striving to be like Christ? Are you making decisions without praying about it? That's critical, I'm telling you. You wonder why your life's in such a mess? Maybe you need to start praying again. Amen? I didn't come to discourage or put you down. But I just want you to know and God wants you to know that Jesus' blood it takes care of it all. Amen? That the blood takes care of it all. Amen? Have you been redeemed? Praise the Lord. Anyone needs prayer this morning you can come to this altar and we'll be glad to pray with you. Amen? Got real quiet in here today. Amen? That tells me you're doing a lot of thinking right now. Amen. God knows what He's doing. Amen. If you got lost loved ones, amen. Praise the Lord. Y'all come, you ladies. Pray her through. Amen. What a blessing it is to have her here with us today. Amen. Miss Patsy wants to walk under the blood. Amen.
Go fish.